Hi everyone, this is Lauren for Lovely's Instinct and today I'm going to show you how to do a fill-in for um, gel nails. So I've already done my right hand. I actually use pink gel and this is my left hand that I'm doing on camera. I'm also going to show you how to fix a nail when it chips or breaks using forms. I actually usually just do my natural nail but since lately with the holidays and everything and moving around and packing packing and wrapping gifts I decided to put a thin layer of gel on my nails so that they wouldn't break as often so that's why I started using gel and I actually like using gel more so than acrylic because it's easier to manipulate if you make a mistake when applying it to the nail you can easily wipe it off and start over again before you start curing the nail under a UV light so I hope you all enjoy this tutorial if you have any questions as always don't hesitate to message me or comment below and of course any of the products that I use will be over in the sidebar to prep the nails I usually spray them with an antiseptic this is just a regular one. You can use any antibacterial um, spray or you can wash your hands with soap and water. So you do that and then you want to buff, well not really buff, but file the top of your nails to remove any excess like if some of the gel has lifted. You want to make sure that it's smooth between your natural nail and also where the gel is so that the application will go on smoother I use around each nail like so. And you also want to make sure that you really get the cuticle area. And I usually switch between both files until I get the results that I like. Now if you have a lot of growth in between your nail, your natural nail and the gel, I would suggest using a line eliminator, sorry, so that you won't see that when you finish the new filling, you won't have that line where people can see the new growth that. So I'm gonna continue filing on all rest of my fingers on this hand and then I will be right back. Wash my hands, I'm gonna apply the nail form to my thumb so that I can build the part of the nail that's missing because I broke the rest of the nail. So I will be back with in one minute with that step. Okay guys, I'm back and now I'm just going to go ahead and apply the form to my thumbnail so that I don't have to worry about it later on. And you can find these at Sally's Beauty Supply Store. But I actually found this, I want to say online with one of the kits that I bought in order to do my nails. You just place it on the nail like so and wrap it around. Now if your nail is small, you can tear it and then make it tighter around the nail so that it holds better. And that's what I like to do. So I have the form on and I'm going to go ahead and start doing, applying the gel fill into my nails. I also have my UV lamp to the side and also in the sidebar I will put where I found this as well. So let's get started. The pink, I'm just using a soft white pink gel. I always start to do the other fingers first so that I can save my thumb for last and it can go under the lamp by itself and lay flat. You just take a thin amount on your brush and you start applying it to your nail. Move that out the way. And you want to be careful not to touch the side walls of your nail and to not touch the cuticle area because doing so will cause lifting. 
and you want to make sure to extend the gel far enough over the end of the nail so that it shrinks and that your nail is fully covered. And you're going to do this to all four fingers for right now. And we're going to do two coats, but on the first coat again, just make it a thin layer. And also I do thin, thin coats so that I have a more natural appearance to my nails. Now we have a thin coat on all four nails and I'm going to go around each nail to make sure that I don't have any gel touching the side of my nail or the cuticle area and if I do I'm going to use a finishing wipe. You can actually use alcohol at home. This actually came with my kit. But I'm going to use a finishing wipe and just wipe around the nail so that I won't have quick lifting. I'm going to put my nails under my UV light for two and a half minutes. You can actually do it for one to two minutes but I like to go just a little bit longer to make sure that the gel is dry before I move on to the next step. Now that my nails are dry from the first coat of gel, I'm going to apply a second thin coat. Again, you can apply the coats as thick as you want to. The thinner coats leave a more natural finish on your nails. And for this coat, you're going to let your nails dry for approximately three and a half minutes under your lamp. Maybe even longer depending on the type of lamp that you use. Now, the second layer of gel is dry on our nails. Well, my nails. Uh-oh. Got a piece on my skin. Okay, so the second layer is dry. And now I'm going to just take the finishing wipe with a lint-free pad and go across each nail to remove the tacky layer. As you can see the nails have a glossy shine to them. So now I'm going to take a white polar buffer. I'm going to buff out any perfections that I have on my nails and also so that the surface is smooth. And you don't have to be really rough with your nails, just go across them. I'm going to just take my nail brush and get all the dust from up under my nails and on top. And now before I finish them off, I'm going to do my thumbnail so I can do all of them at the same time. Finishing off with the cuticle oil. So with the thumbnail, as you can see, it is chipped. And what I like to do is... I like to build a nail when I break one if I'm using an enhancement gel or acrylic. So basically what I'm going to do is take a little bit. I'm going to apply the gel like I did on the rest of my nails. But I'm going to also extend it slight. And then here at this tip, I'm going to extend the gel just a little onto my form so that it builds a nail. I'm not exactly touching the form. I'm more so letting the gel just pile up on it. I'm not touching, rather I should say I'm not touching the form with the brush as much. Okay, now I'm back with my thumb. And I'm going to go ahead and file off the excess gel that's around the nail from where I had the form. And it just takes a minute to do so. Now that I have the excess gel from around where I built the rest of the tip of my nail, I'm going to take the finishing wipe and wipe it down. And as I did with the other nails, I'm going to take my buffer and buff out any imperfections. And this really does help with this step since my nail does have a few bumps in it. Now what I like to do is apply a little bit of solar oil to my cuticles and all my nails. I haven't done it to any of my nails yet. So I just do it like that before I wash them. 
and just massage it in. 